Hello everyone, JK Origami here, and today I'm going to teach you how to fold my origami alligator. This is a model I designed, and this one I folded actually quite a few weeks ago. Sorry I haven't gotten the tutorial out earlier, it's taken quite a while to make it. But anyway, I really like this model. This one I made from a 35 by 35 centimeter square of foil. And this is a design that I would not, it's very complicated, so I would not fold it with, if you don't have experience. And yeah, so I'm going to show you the crease pattern first, because this is made from a 32 by 32 grid. So this is the crease pattern. I'll zoom in. So this is, this part here is going to become the head on the teeth. These are going to be the arms with the toes, and these are going to be the back legs. So, I'm going to teach you how to fold the crease pattern and shape it. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, I would start with nothing smaller than 35 by 35 centimeter paper, and you can wet fold, I, but I would definitely recommend very thin paper. So, I'm going to be using thir the same paper I used to fold this. And you're going to need a 32 by 32 grid, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm not going to show you how to fold that. If you don't know how to fold that, you probably shouldn't be making this model. So we're going to start with a 32 by 32 grid. So we're going to start like this. And I'm going to, first of all, we're going to crease the crease pattern. So. We're going to start color side up, and we're going to fold in half, just so we can find the halfway mark. And on this halfway mark, we want to make sure we know where it is, so for me, it's right there. So, we're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to bring this edge to the center. We're going to fold in this corner to that line, and we're going to go up, so... Before we crease it, actually, I'll draw it on for you. So we're going to be going up, just like here in the crease pattern, on a diagonal. And we're going to make 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So we're going to go up 9. So draw that on quickly. So that's 6, 8, Nine. And then we're going to skip two rows, one or two uh, columns, one, two. And here, we're going to make a crease going diagonally down, and that should go down five, five boxes, just like that. So it looks like that. Now, we're going to repeat on the other side. So there's going to be six, eight, nine and skip two and then five and don't worry drawing these on you're not going to see them in the completed model if you draw them on the white side so now we're going to fold these pieces so remember it's nine that we're doing we're doing so one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's where you stop so right there and then we're going to fold these creases, and these should be valley folds. So, five, and it looks like that. And now, on this side as well, we need to make the creases. So, that's two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, and then five on this side. Alright, so now it looks like this. Now, we're going to draw, and we're going to make these, this crease, and these, well not these creases, because these will come later, but this one and that one. And the way we're going to do that, is we're going to start from there, from, from this point there, and we're going to count our way up. So we need to go 2, 4, 6, 
8, 10, 12, 14, 15, up. We need to go up 15 from right there. Alright, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and give that point a little mark, just so we remember that crease. So for me, it's right there. And from the top, it should be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 from the top. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Sorry, I miscounted. It's right there. So it should be 14 from the top down. So I guess my mistake, it should be 14 from, the, from this point and up. So 14 both ways. So right there. Now, we're going to count five creases over, and that's where we're going to start our box. So two, four, five, right there. And now we're going to go, we're going to make a line that's four, four squares long. Yeah. So going that way, going that way, and make sure it's four. And then going the other way as well. And then going back this way. So that's going to be creases we need. And next, the easy way to do this is we're going to fold, we're going to mountain fold along this crease. It should naturally want to be a mountain fold. And now we're going to find the middle and fold along it like that. And now if we look here on this side, we can just figure out where the points are going to be on the other side. So it's going to go like that, four down from that point, and from there we can figure the rest out without looking. If we look on the other side, it connects there. So I'm just going to draw the rest on here without unfolding it. So two, three, four, and four. So it looks like that. And now, it's it's very easy to crease them. So I'm going to fold along this, this crease. And now I'm just going to fold along that crease. And when we unfold this, it gives us all four. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All right. And then if we unfold, again, we have all the necessary creases. All right. So again, back like this. So this is going to be the tail, and these are the front legs. So those are all the pre-creases we need to make. So now what we're going to do is we're going to begin by collapsing the tail. So again, I'm going to make this crease, and I'm going to start on the left side, so I'm just going to make that crease. And now we're going to box pleat it. So all the way down, we're going to start, I'm going to go green side up, and we're going to make that first box pleat. The middle line, it wants to be a valley fold, but leave it as, a, as no fold. And now we're going to do our box pleating. And we're just going to do this diagonal crease first. So you're going to pleat. And again, you want to go all the way down the length of the paper. Don't worry about any creases. The, the pleats intersect. We're going to come back to those later. So I'm going a little fast. But what I'm doing is I'm just making the fan. So just want to keep going, make all the creases. All right, and that, like that. And you see, I'm also skipping this. We're going to come back again and do that later. So just keep going with the pleating. And again, when you're when you're doing this, you want to make sure your creases are strong, so that it's easier to do. So all right, it stops there abruptly. So just crease everything. Make sure it's all nice and strong. 
And now, the next step is we're going to work on this part. So we're going to do this. Okay, and again, do the pleating all the way down. And we're using the crease, the diagonal as the guide. And I'm just going along. So there we go. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to flip the model over so it's white side up. So we have this part. There are no creases here, so it doesn't want to collapse. But what we're going to do is we're going to push this layer down, force that part down, and we're going to fold it all in, like that. And then we're going to, so it looks like this, and then you're just going to fold the layer back. So now, once it's flattened, it looks like this. And then you can fold the back leg out. It should look like that. So we're going to repeat everything we just did on this side. And this time I'm not going to give the instructions, so if you need to see it, I'm going to go actually faster this time than I did last time. So if you want to see the instructions, you can go back to the last part. And again, don't rush it. You just you want to make sure your creases are nice and that you don't defer from the lines that you made previously. Because in this design, precision is very important. you're done in the first part, we're going to go right to doing the other part of the leg. Alright, and once you're done, it should look again like this. And then we're going to fold this layer in and back around. And I'll come back. And for the final step, just fold the leg out. All right. So this is a very important step coming up. So I'm going to flip back over, and if you count, from starting from the tip of the tail, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine layers. So we're going to fold in on this ninth layer. We're going to fold back out on the eighth. So it'll look like that. And then we'll have seven remaining. So here's how it's going to look. I'm going to turn it around, open up the legs slightly. So now, we want to make sure that the two, one layer on each side at the very bottom are in when we do this. So, we're again right along the ninth line, which should line up with the legs. We're going to fold in. So, you can fold everything out except that, fold it up, and then you can fold it right back down. All right. And now, what we need to do is we need to unfold, pull these layers back out, and again, pull back down. So, now what we need to do, we need to open up the model, and we're going to take on each side, so we have the middle valley, we have the two mountains, and we're going to take the next two va the next valley on each side and make it a mountain. So I'm just opening it up, and it's going to come back to the tail where the model will not lie flat. But what we're going to do is, so make the creases all the way back. 
So at this point, what we're going to do is, so this is our ninth crease here that we're folding in on. So we're going to fold right in the middle in, and then you're going to make crease from there to there. So we're making sort of a diagonal. So from where the second, where this, this crease hits there, we're going to fold up. All right, and then you're going to repeat on the other side. And more or less, we're making a box. So you're going to do the next, the next diagonal. Okay, and then in, so repeat on the other side. And in this case, we did mountain folds, and on the inside, we're going to do valley folds. So. As you make them, you're going to see the box start to come together. So you see it looks it's coming like this, and it wants to come in. So you're going to we're going to re collapse everything. So this should be these layers should be in the center still, and the legs should still come out. And this should be like that, and we're just going to fold that over. So if you turn it back around, it looks like this. So we took the layers out. So now we have a shorter tail slightly, but that's okay, that's what you want. And now we have a widened body. So now the next step, this is one of the this is one of the easier steps. We're going to open up the design and try to find our squares. So on, on my left side I found mine. And it's okay, you can open up the model all the way back, just make sure the leg doesn't come undone. And now we're going to start to pleat this um, square. So you can see the natural folds of the creases, mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So you're going to do this, you're going to fold accordingly. So I like to start from the edge, from the farthest forward point, and work the way back. That's what I find easiest. That's what I'm going to do. And this crease becomes valley. And when you get here, it's going to want to come apart, but make sure you keep the body creases up there the same. And it's going to come a little tricky at first, but just keep working the paper and get the creases to come. Alright, mine are pretty much there, as you can see. So I'm just going to slowly collapse. So as you do this, you want to make this a mountain fold. So we're mountain folding and then we're bringing these together along the creases. Make sure the creases go smoothly and then we're going to fold this back layer that comes out. We're going to fold it down and there is the front leg. So now we're going to unfold it and do the same thing on the right side. So I'm going to pull out the paper here that's going to become the leg and found the box, and again I'm going to do my box pleating. Alright. So just go along, do the pleats, do the box pleating, and then once you finish, Again, you're, you're going to work the creases until they're re ready to be collapsed, and then you can collapse them and flatten. Again, now you have two legs, flatten that back, and flatten the rest of the paper forward. Alright, so we're almost done the base. The next part we're going to do is the head. So this part is getting a little tricky. Or it's not not really tricky, but it's getting more shaping than than base. So we're going to start at the very top. Count three creases in. So one, two, three. On the third crease, actually the fourth, the fourth crease, we're going to fold the paper over like that. And now we're going to fold. Make sure the paper is nice and even. Okay. So we're going to fold this edge to the crease, like that. Alright, 
and we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right. Once you're done, unfold, and you should have two creases right there, two triangles. So now I'll, f I'll zoom in for this part. What we're going to do is we're going to make this a mountain fold again. So we're going to fold, and this layer is going to become a valley fold again. And this part of the crease here is going to become a mountain fold. And this and the, the other side as well. And these two will become valleys. So more or less, we're doing the same thing as we did with the, ta um, with the tail end. And this is just thinning it out for the head. So, okay. So just work the paper, and as you can see, mine's coming together now. So I'm just going to collapse. And I'm going to swing the bottom two layers down. And this layer is going to come up. And you can flatten. So now we have something that looks like that for the head. So now we're going to flip it over backward, and we should have something like this. Now this is one of the most tricky steps in the entire design. So for this, we're going to fold these two legs down. All right. So these two are going to come down. All right. Looks like that. Now, we're going to work up here. So I'm going to take one layer, so like this. I'm going to take this crease off, fold the layer over, and this is going to become mountain. Now you can see this paper doesn't want to lie flat, so we're going to make a diagonal from there to the center, and continue the diagonal, and push the paper over and flatten, like that. Now, we're going to take this layer, pull it off the other side, and fold it back. All right. And now we're going to repeat on the other side. We're doing the opposite, so we're going to take the layer off, reverse the crease, make the lines, and flatten. Looks like that. And then you can fold back. So we did something and now it looks like this. So on the right side, we're going to pull the layer of the top of the paper and take it out from underneath. And then we're going to flatten. And it looks like this. So again, you just pulled the layer out from underneath the paper. All right. And then we're going to take the left layer. We're going to open up the right layer. I'm going to fold the left layer right into the right layer. You want to push the corner in. I just rotated it so it's easier. And flatten. Looks like that. Now we're going to take this top crease where the two layers meet. And we're going to fold it behind on an angle. So it looks like that. And now the two edges of the head are held together. And we have a fan for the mouth. So I'm going to flip mine back over, and I'm going to fold this part of the head back now. All right. Just to make it easier to work with. So for this alligator, I made mine with two teeth on top. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. If you don't want two teeth, follow what I'm doing, but only do it once. So I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to take the top here. I'm going to bring. I'm going to align this edge with that edge and that edge, and I'm flattening. And it looks like that. It's going to be our. This is the start of our first tooth. So repeat on the other side. So if you want one tooth on top and two on the bottom instead of two on top and one on the bottom, then don't do this next part. But we're going to repeat that step with the next layer, like that. All right. And on the other side as well. Okay. And then once you have that, you're sitting one and the start of a second tooth. All right, so now we're going to repeat a third time. 
And now, if you don't want, again, if you only want one te tooth on top, this part you need to do. So we're going to repeat again. So right now, for, for two teeth on top, we, we've done the step three times. We're going to do it a fourth on each side. All right. And then we're going to do it a fifth. Okay, and then that's it. So for two teeth on top, you've done this step five times. And for one tooth on top, you've done that same thing four times. So now, we're going to look at the top. We see, you see, so we're going to count two teeth. So one, two, and again, if you're only having one tooth, then don't do this part. So we're, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull. We're going to do an Elias stretch on these two. And again, we're going to hold this one. So we're going to hold these two. Gently pull. You can guide it with your hand. So gently pulling. And then we're going to gently pull again. And there we go. And we're going to flatten. And we have our mouth. So now it can open. So now we have, again, two teeth on top. And then we're going to repeat that step one more time on the bottom. And if you want two teeth on the bottom, do it with the two remaining layers of paper. And then you have one tooth on the bottom. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So grab the two layers, grab the one layer, pull. And you may need to guide it with your hand a little. Make the crease. And then. And then flatten. All right. And I'm just going to clean mine up a little bit. Turned out okay. You're not really going to see the inside of the mouth, but the better, the better it looks, the better. So, okay, I clean that up. So now I'm going to do my tooth. All right. And once you have that done, you're we're pretty much done the inside of the mouth. So now we're going to work it on the mouth again later. So open up the model. And what we are going to do is we are going to we're going to take the model. So hold it like that. And we're going to put these two parts up. So we're going to take that up. These are the two front legs. We're folding them toward the head. Then you're going to fold it out and out. All right, so if we flip it back over, it looks like this. So we have one, two, three, four four layers between them. All right, and from this angle, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that the limbs are are a much different length. So to fix that, we're going to open up this limb, take the top two layers, open them, and we're going to make a crease. I'm going to unfold it slightly for this, open it up along this crease right there. So we're going to fold it down so it should line up with that and then fold it up to complete the pleat and then you fold it, you collapse everything again and this should not interfere with any of the, of the collapsing and now it's the same length. So repeat, so I'm going to open it up open up the top two layers, open it up, 
fold them in, fold them out, recollapse. All right, and there it is. Now it looks like this. So before we do anything further, we're going to make a pattern for the top of the alligator. We're going to give it some scales. We're going to give it some more scales. So to do that, you see this layer ends abruptly there, so we're only going to crease on the top. So we're going to crease from there, so we're going to count four layers up and we're going to stop all our creases at that line. So we're going to go from, so we're going to bring this edge to that edge. And then just on the top layer, and then you can unfold. And now you're right there. In fact, you should actually go five layers, five, five um, creases. So now this step's a little harder. We're going to bring that edge to that edge. We're basically making eighths. And this is optional. This is just the aesthetics of it. We want it to look good. But again, your model will be okay without it. And then we're going to go on this side making the eighths. And up to there. All right. Looks like that. And now we're going to, with both layers, fold eighths going the other way. So it's going to be just like that. All right. And keep going again the, the whole five layers. So we're just making eighths going this way. You're going to have to go a little further. And as you can see, we can't make a crease there, but that's okay because it will mostly be covered up. So now you can see we have scales. And if you have bigger paper, then you can even do this step again to make smaller scales. So now what we're going to do is we are going to work on the neck. So we're going to fold the paper back right along this crease there. And then we're going to make two sort of diagonal creases so that it looks like this. So we're folding them so that they meet one crease back, one, six, one uh, 30 second back, so one of the original creases back. So now we want this to go a couple layers. And what we're going to do now is, so we have this, we want to round it out a little more. And now we're going to bring, we're going to make a crease along there and bring this edge, which is going to turn into the eye. We want to bring that in. All right. So fold it in. We don't want to fold any further. All right. And then I'll repeat on this side. So make the crease to match and fold in. So now we're going to unfold that, fold this down, and fold these creases in. All right, and then fold this layer back up. And this is going to turn into the eyes. So now, now we're going to, again, we're going to shape the head a little more. So. You have it like this. And in fact, we can bring this back a little bit. Okay. Now you're going to fold this layer and this layer over just to help with the shaping. And now you can make sort of curved creases along there to bring the neck in a little more like that and on the other side as well. Now you want to flatten the back of the neck a little more and you're just slowly collapsing it in. And up here we're going to make creases coming out slightly, little diagonal creases, and then we're going to collapse the head down like that. So just like that. 
collapsing the head down and just keep going till you're happy and this is a spot where the paper is very prone to ripping so be very careful and yeah so as we're doing this with the head you also want to be working on the tail and we're going to fold the tail in half and on this layer here we're going to make creases parallel to these two right there so just fold the tail in half and that layer is going to want to come up make the rabbit ear and it looks like that all right and now you can see this part of, is a bit exposed but that's okay that's what we want so it's looking a bit like this and I'm just going to work the head a little more and you can see the mouth the um, you know the mouth is coming down so with the, for the top layer we want to fold it up along the crease and we want to make a bit of a curved line sort of like what we did for the neck except not as sharp an angle so something like that so I'm going to reshape the head we want this to go straight so you can adjust it something like that something like that is good and now for the bottom we want to sort of flatten it out that way as far as it'll go back and then we want to bring it back out and fold it on its side a little bit sort of bring it bring it a little up and a little together so it looks like that and again I'm not really happy with my, the way my neck looks yet on the alligator so I'm going to keep working it some more and the same thing with the head all right that's good enough I guess for now and again we're going to be doing more shaping later so you can keep it like that for now and for the teeth I'm going to work on the top and we're just going to fold them in on an angle so the way it, so I'm just going to do it it's a little tricky to see you can probably see it okay but anyway looks like that repeat on the other side so fold the two teeth outward fold them in like that all right and then on this side we want to do something similar except a little further in than the back teeth of there so we want it so you can see the difference it's a it's further in almost you can almost actually just fold it right in so it's touching the point that can be a reference just because you you don't want it you want the teeth to be serrated you don't you don't want them to be touching so now I'm going to fold the tooth up so I'm going to bring it from touching that point to that point like that and it should stand up now and I'm going to repeat all right and then we're going to repeat on this we're going to fold them up and make sure you do that with all the teeth they can be adjusted but just want to do them some, something like that is good and now when you refold the mouth a little and the jaws you can pull the teeth down and we want to fold a little bit of the side in so you want to fold a little bit in you can pull the teeth out you sort of want to shape it to be to come from this point make a bit of a curved line and come out and I'm just going to play with my the teeth here a little so something like that okay and then for the front you're going to bring the layer down and you're going to make a couple triangles which you can just fold in to make it a bit 3d and now I'm going to do that on the other side so I'm going to fold the layer in and looks like that so 
I'm just going to work with it a little. And again, I'm going to pull the teeth out. Just going to play with them. Yeah, all right. Looks something like this. So it looks something like that. Now, again, we're going to work on the bottom, do the same thing. We're, we're going to push this up, make the crease. It doesn't have to be as curved as the top. This one can be more discreet. But again, this is mainly to taste. So shape it as you like for the alligator to look. So, I'm playing with the teeth, and then you can put the jaw back to where you want it when it's fully shaped. So, for me, it's going to be something like that, and I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to fold down this, these two corners of this layer, and that's going to make the eyes. All right, and now we're pretty much done. We just have to do the toes. This is a very crucial part of the design. So we're going to fold this edge to there for the front. And repeat on the other side. Crease sharply because these are the creases we need. So I'm going to work on one. I'm going to unfold it and open up the layer a little bit. And we're going to open it up and pull the layers forward. So grab the back layer and we're going to pull forward. So I got one layer forward and the next layer is also going to come forward. And that this one's a little more tricky and you want to be careful. Don't rip the paper. Don't force it too hard. And now we're going to make the creases we have, we should have squares, and we're going to collapse these, so they're all going to be mountain folds, okay, so we're going to start on the innermost layer, and I'm going to collapse them, the most important thing is follow right along the creases, so What I'm doing, I'm going nicely and slowly, and go slow, follow the creases, make it precise. And then it looks like that. So I'm going to fold the layers back, and now it looks like this. So I have one flap, two flaps. And for this flap, we're going to open up the layer, and we are going to pull it apart. And again, we have a box, and that's going to come and collapse. So it looks like this. Now we have our layers. So we're going to fold it back out. And now we're going to make our foot. So we're going to take the outermost layer, take it, Fold it all the way down, and then fold it back up about two-thirds of what it was before. And then it looks something like that. And now you're going to take the innermost layer off to the side, fold it down. So you're not going to open it right in the middle, because you, you're not going to be able to do anything. So open it to one side. And we're going to do something similar. We're going to put it down take it out about half and it's going to come out about there like that that's about what you want and now th here we're going to fold the layers together fold that sort of under fold it out so 
going to fold it together. And fold it over down forward. And then you can flatten it. And again, looks something like that. And that's about what you want. You can shape it to taste. Again, this is all this is all to taste really. It's up to you. I like mine like that, but you can do what you want with it. So I'm going to repeat over here and this time. I'm not going to show it as discreetly. Let's see. You want to pull it gently off. Alright. And again, repeat what you did on the other side. And this is how we're going to make the toes. So, again, work precisely. Make sure your creases are nice. Make sure your creases are strong. Okay, and it looks like that. And then I'm going to do my other collapse. All right. All right, and I'm going to shape my foot the same way I have I have it on the other side, the same way I showed earlier. So you can copy it if you want or you can do something slightly different with the toes. It's up to you really. Alright, so now I'm going to put that back out. And again, you can just collapse it off to the side. And we're going to collapse it bring it forward and you want to make it sym symmetrical pretty much to the other side you don't have to really it's up to you you can make it like it's walking forward but I like the symmetry of it so I'm just going to fix it up all right Something like that is good, and I'm just going to adjust my head again. So, we're pretty much done with the head. You can keep shaping it. It's okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with mine. So now we're just going to do the back legs. So we're going to do the same thing we did for the teeth. We're just going to fold like that. This is the 99% problem, right? Or the 1% problem. Where 1% of people owe everything. Everyone else is kind of as well. All right, and... There we after, go. Yeah, after they destroy a company, essentially. And then, for this, it's it's very similar what we're going to do with the top layer. Well, we're going to fold it down, and make one third it. like that, and right. then we're going to fold it down and bring it off to the side more and like yeah, that. Like, no, more right. like that, Theory like of, so. All right, <laughs> so now we're going to fold again. Like that, hold it in half, the <laughs> angle sure. bisector, alright, and then there's my foot, and then I'm just going to fold it slightly forward. Alright, so it looks like that, and repeat on the other side, and again, you can do what you want, I just designed these back toes to match the front ones, but if you want them to look differently than the front ones, or if you want them to look the same as your own front ones, then you can, you can, um, experiment. Alright.
And then, again, we're just going to fold it in half to thin out the leg and bring it forward. And you can make the match. Mine looks like this. I'm happy with that. And that's it. That's the end of the alligator. And then you can just shape everything here how you wish. And there you go. And if you really want to make it perfect... Oh, actually, wait. There's one more step with the tail. You can open it up a little and fold in on a bit of an angle just to thin it out as it goes to the back. So, like that. And like that. Something like that's good. And then you can refold it in the half. And looks like this. And then you can just you can just uh, curl it in, in all the ways. And out the front, we want to make two little V-shaped folds to sort of get the head to stand up. So we want it to come there and we want it to come there. So, it's going like this. And once you have that done, you can reshape the legs. You'll need to fold them out a bit. That's just to force a, sh a better shape on the body. And my head's coming undone again, so I can refix that. And yeah, you can play with it make it something nice but that's pretty much it so yeah this one oh i was shaping for a long long time and that came out like that this one not quite as good in my opinion but anyway yeah so that's it thank you so much for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel i have many more cool creations coming up and as always, enjoy. Rah.